Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new episode of Softly Spoken Gamer. Today we're going to play, or take a look at a game known as Subnautica, which is currently in Early Access, it's available on Steam. For those of you who are not sure, Early Access means that the game is currently still under development. You can play it and you can report bugs to the development team so they can fix it while you're wandering around. Now. Very quickly, the controls are fairly simple. ASWD, forward, back, strafe, left and right. Left click to uh, open things. Tab to bring up the menu. Escape for your options. Now every time you start the game, you'll get something random in the, uh, your locker here to begin with. Unfortunately uh, it's not much useful to me at the moment. But, well, it's luck of the draw. Anyway, the idea of this is just so I can show you the game. As you can see, we can still report bugs with F8. Right, I just wanted to show you the game, let people know what it's like, because, basically, the game is awesome. It's really well done. The graphics are really impressive. The idea is... The big ship over there was the Aurora, a terraforming ship. A pulse hit your ship while it was in orbit, coming down to terraform the planet, and knocked it out of orbit. You're the only survivor in an escape pod which is currently damaged. Now the idea is that we have to grab enough resources to build ourselves habitation underwater, explore the wreck, and as the game's in development they've made recent adjustments in which parts of the ship have broken off and we can go and explore them. And the drive core is going to explode. Awesome! As you can see from the bottom left, I have um, I have to find food and water to sustain myself while I'm swimming around picking up the kit I need. Makes it slightly more difficult. Right. Come here, you fish! Boomerang fish for food! Okay, there's a whole bunch of resources and things that you have to get in this game in order to, pro to progress. So let's point these out while I can see them. These little cubes are salt. Salt is used for making magnesium, which you can use for, say, flares and for uh, a welding gun. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh. You also have to be careful about the amount of air you've got left as well. Uh, you can build air tanks and flippers and things, which we're going to do in a second. I'm also going to try and keep these videos fairly short. Nobody wants to sit and watch someone else swim around, albeit in rather beautifully detailed locations, and play a game where you could play it yourself and explore. So I'll just show you the basic points while I'm here. There'll be bits of uh, the ship broken and scattered round. Pick it up with a left click. It's titanium, which is a metal you're going to need to use. These crystals are quartz. You can use them to make both glass and silicon Emergency. rubber. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, 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 fine. Apparently your guy needs to breathe occasionally. You know, a bit of a downer, but at least it's realistic. Different types of fish will give you different things. The boomerang fish I've picked up will give you some food and some water. Ah, there we go, limestone. These things are scattered all over the place. Break them open with a left click and they hold different things. That one held titanium. Weird thing for limestone to hold, but yeah, there you go. Strange planet. Acid mushrooms. Mixed, uh, used with copper and you can make batteries, which will of course come in handy later on for some of the more advanced equipment that you can get. Emergency. First thing that you're going to need though is plenty of the uh, the crystals, so you can make rubber for new flippers and for glass. You'll need glass and titanium to build an air tank to give you an extra 30 seconds worth of air. The flippers will help you move around faster. Oh, let's see if I can grab a peeper fish. Yeah, got one. Peeper fish, more food. Gary fish. I don't know who named them. Carry fish. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may cause a quantum detonation. 
calculating risk assessment, death by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11%. The, or, the computer Aurora is currently telling me that the ship, that the colony ship's drive has been broken and it's going to explode and nuke the area. Okay, so if I exit this a second, fabricators, you can actually build these later on. Use it to break down the resources you've picked up. So all the metal I picked up, I can make titanium out of. Titanium is obviously going to be used to make a whole bunch of different things. From the blade of your knife to uh, the air tank that you need to go to go with glass. First thing I need to build though is two bits of rubber, silicon rubber. From that, I can go to personal equipment and build myself a set of fins. I can also build myself an O2 tank with a piece of titanium and glass. These are instantly put into your equipment for you. So if I exit this and go press tab, there we go, there's my O2 tank, and my fins have been attached to me already. Next, back to the fabricator. Sustenance and cooked food. Cooked peeper. Cooked gary fish and cooked boomerang. The boomerang gives me food and a little bit of water. The gary fish gives me a little bit of food but more water. And the peeper gives me 32 food and 5 water. So there we go. Slightly better off. If I eat the boomerang, if you eat the fish raw, then they have some negative things that'll do to you. But we now have flippers and an air tank. So the next thing that we need to build is probably a battery, or under equipment. No, sorry, under tools. It's probably a survival knife. So we need a little bit more rubber and titanium to make a knife. You can also build a scanner, which will allow you to scan things for data if you want to find out what they are. A flashlight you will need at night. Uh, it gets really dark. Habitat Builder needs a computer chip and a battery. And that's for when you start building accommodation underground. One of the other things that we're going to need to build is a welding torch. So as you can see we need magnesium which is made from salt and titanium and crash powder. So let's see if I can find you crash powder. I also need to keep an eye out for more quartz crystals so I can make myself some more rubber to make a knife. Let's grab an acid mushroom. Ah, quartz crystals. Crash powder is found from some sort of suicidal fish. I'm not sure what they're called off the top of my head. But they'll swim towards you and then explode. But you usually find them in caves underground. These coral thing, these coral uh, orbs here actually put out air in small bubbles. Free bubbles usually. But it's a good little trick if you're exploring and you don't want to surface. So. Oh. Getting dark in here. And I can hear something in the water, but I can't see it. I think it may be these. Ah. Cool. Air sack, um... These air sac fish are your best source of water if you're playing on survival mode. Let's grab another boomerang fish. Come here, you little bastard. There we go. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, 30 seconds of air left. It's getting dark and it's difficult to see, so I really should. Oh, I want another... Emergency. Seismic readings 
suggest a quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. Oh, this is not good. Oh, where's my pod? Oh, this is of oxygen remain in T minus. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, I may have left six, it too late. The ship five, is going to explode, and I'm going to pass out from lack of air. Hold on. Two. Oh, that was close. Almost drowned. But I was far enough away from the, the wreck that I didn't get injured in the explosion. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, there is not a lot of time before the wreck explodes. What it means now is that there's radiation in the water, and I can take damage from it. I need to build myself a, um, a radiation suit. Right. Air sac fish are the best sort, of best sort of water for you. Boomerangs, I find, are the best source of food. Back to basic materials. Oh, uh, personal equipment. Tools. I need one piece of silicon rubber to build the knife, so we'll build that first. So, personal tools. Knife. Knife comes in handy if you want to kill bigger fish. And if you want to cut up coral, which you'll need later on as an extra piece of equipment. Air bladder is a new item that wasn't in it last time I played. Right, I need a flashlight, so I need battery and silicon rubber. Well, I can still build a piece of rubber, and I have enough quartz left to build that. But for a battery, which will come under electronics, I need a piece of copper ore. Best place to find the copper ore at the moment is in the limestone chunks that you see scattered around all over the place. They're actually also fairly easy to see from a distance, normally. And now the game is going to prove me wrong. Now, I do enjoy playing this game, especially on, um, just on creation mode, if you want to build yourself an underwater habitat and just explore what the game has got. And as you can see, they spent a lot of time putting in effort into the graphics. Well, I found the moon was quite cool as well, although it is really, really fast moving. And close as well. The wreck ahead of us of the Aurora we can go into later on, and we need to with the welding torch to conduct repairs and stop the radiation from leaking out. Before you do that though, you need a radiation suit, and for that you need lead. And strangely enough in this, to make lead, you need to find silver. Now, if people are interested in this, and um, watch me play it, then the next time we take a, a brief look at it, We'll have a look and find where there's silver. It's interesting that there's air coming out of the sand. There's obviously something buried under there, or a little bit further down, because there are still bugs in the game. Ah! Some of the bigger fish, I don't know what they're called. You want to avoid them though. If you get too close, they release these glowing pods, which then explode and release poison, I don't know, poison gas, maybe, underwater? Not good, in general. And it's getting lighter, right. As you can see as well, if you get lost, the locator of your pod can be seen pretty much from anywhere across the board. Unfortunately, this game is currently messing with me, and now I can't find a single piece of limestone to break open. There we go. And we're going to have 
No, titanium. There we go, copper. My probability of survival has increased 7.6% as the copper is used for powered equipment. Okay, so let's go back to the pod, which is there. And hopefully we have enough to make at least one useful item. Probably the torch. The scanner is only useful if you want to know what the names of creatures are or what they're like or what they do. So, electronics. There we go, I can now build a battery. One piece of co copper and two acid mushrooms to make that. Personal tools. Flashlight. It's really useful at night. And before I sign off for the day, because I only want to keep these quick so you don't get bored. If you hold over it, you can see that it says press 1 to 5 to try into a quick slot. I see no point in having fish and things attached to quick slots. So I have my knife and my flashlight on numbers 1 and 2. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'll keep, I'm going to cut it short there. Oh, uh, yeah, before I sign off. When you're using it, it uses power. See, energy is now 99%. In which case, when it runs out of power, you'll have to build a new battery to replace. But we'll call it, we'll leave it there. I said I only wanted to show you the game so people can get a, a feel for what it's like, how it looks. And if you're interested, then we'll do another one later on and we'll show you some of the... Uh, the more dangerous things or some of the more interesting areas to visit. But aside from that, take it easy everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you did. If you didn't, again, let me know anyway, so I can find ways of improving on what I'm doing. Aside from that, take it easy and fly safe.